Welcome to this video presentation on AC500 programming. In this video, we would like to show you briefly how to create a project in ABB Automation Builder Engineering Suite. In this example, the Automation Builder Suite has already been installed in this computer, and as a result, a shortcut is seen on the desktop. After launching the software, the first step is to create a new project using the new project icon. One could also use the menu toolbar options to create a project quite easily. Now specify a project name and a location where this project will be saved in this computer. Double click on the AC500 project template, which would open the dialog box to select the right PLC controller. You could apply some filter functions to make the choice easier like AC500 standard or AC500 eco range. After the controller selection, the configuration tree corresponding to the AC500 station object will be displayed on the left pane of the project window. Right-click on the first line of this configuration tree to display and to set the CPU parameters which could be modified depending on the project application. For instance, the detection of battery state. Select the CPU hardware tab to be able to select the right terminal base for the CPU with one, two or four extension module slots. There is an option to change the CPU type if your initial selection don't correspond to your project. The AC500 structure of the configuration tree is made up of different parts, such as interfaces, like serial communication or FBP access, Ethernet protocols, and extension bus to connect the additional communication modules. Finally, the I.O. bus to implement additional I.O. modules on the local bus. Now we add one module DX522 on the I.O. bus, which is a digital input and output module. Automatically, an editor window will be associated to the I.O. module. To be able to configure the module and its channels, using defined parameters, and then map its inputs and outputs using the I.O. mapping tab. All available I.O. channels get automatically an I.O. address. Then the symbolic names and descriptions could be defined. The I.O. channels with symbolic names will be automatically added to the global variable list in IEC 61131 application after creating the configuration data. Once the hardware configuration is done, a double click on the application object to create the configuration file will proceed to open the IEC 61131 program editor. Now, one could start the programming part of the project. In resources tab, and in global variables folder, one can find the I.O. variables declaration names corresponding to I.O. modules. These global variables could be used in the entire project. Click on the POU tab, corresponding to your program organization unit. Each object consists of a declaration header and a code section to write the logics. The logic could be written in any of the IEC programming languages. Add a new POU, with the help of add object function accessed, just by right-clicking on the POU's folder. Once a POU is created, we could start writing a simple program for demonstration, using the function block diagram, FBD. By creating some local variables with appropriate data type, default value and optional comments, as needed. Next action will be to add the necessary logics and in this case an end gate function. 
to do it, icon in the toolbar, or key combination could be used. F2 key could be used to call the input assistant box, which would guide in browsing the local or global variables, or symbols pertaining to I.O. channels. Likewise a timer function block ton could be programmed with appropriate input-output parameters. The preset time of timer can be a constant time, the value must be in milliseconds, seconds, minutes, hours or combination of them. Additional network could be added with the menu insert, and the function network. Similarly a counter function block program to count the output of the timer, from the previous network. The counter gives an output at Q when the preset value is reached. Every POU must be connected to the main program, called PLC underscore PRG. To do this, open the main program PLC PRG, then press the key F2, to enable the input assistant, and then select the option user define program, to attach the POUs. The project needs to be compiled now to be downloaded and tested to the simulator or the controller. The demonstration of how to test one project directly on AC500 controller is presented in another video called AC500 First Commissioning. For simulation in the engineering PC, select the online menu simulation and then choose the login function to simulate the project download. With the menu function run, the simulator starts executing the program like a real CPU. To verify the functioning of the program, the variables can be set at a certain value. 
using Write Values option. Now click on the save icon or by selecting the menu function file, one could save the project. This concludes the presentation of a simple project with Automation Builder Suite. And any future modification or improvement to the project is possible. Finally, last operation, save and close the complete project from Automation Builder using the appropriated icons or the file menu toolbar. For further information and support, please be in touch with the contact details provided on the screen. Thank you for watching this video.